Finding blog ideas is a really challenging thing to do. In this video, I'm going to show you my way of how I find surefire keywords and key phrases, blog titles, and best of all, it's absolutely free. Stay tuned. Right, so what you want to do first is you want to come over to a website called Answer the Public, completely free, answerthepublic.com and it will bring you to this lovely site here. So what we've got here is we've got a robot. It used to be a man just going like this, brushing his goatee, and I thought it was amazing. But let's get to it. First thing you want to do is you want to come down to discover what people are asking about. So in my case, as you know, I run the music specialist guitar store, or it's basically a music store. And I want to do a blog series on guitars. So let's go with electric guitars. Okay. And then search. Okay. So as you can see here, electric guitars, and I'll just get my head out of the way. Here we go. Here's the questions that are populating. And right now, it brings you to a page that has 358 results for electric guitars, which is quite amazing. So look what I've got. These are the hows, these are the whys, these are the whos, will, which, what, where, and can. So you can go with whatever you want. What I would suggest is you choose one from each category. So you've got how. So first thing, how do electric guitars sound different? How are electric guitars powered? How do electric guitars make sound? How do electric guitars work? How electric guitars are used? How electric guitars are made? There's so many different ways and references that you can write on. Why are electric guitars so heavy? Why are electric guitars heavy? So you can start to write a blog based on every single how, what, when, which, why. So which electric guitars are the lightest. So that could be a good one. So if you're running a shop, for example, I would personally say the five lightest electric guitars or which electric guitars are the lightest five electric guitars that will be, you know, lightweight, whatever it is, take it to your gig, take it traveling, whatever it may be, you can come up with that idea. So then for example, which electric guitars are the lightest? Let's just go with that one. I'm gonna write a blog on this, I actually will. I'll come over to the dashboard and then in your post section, add a new post. So you wait for this to load up and you just copy and you just paste it. Obviously fix the grammar. So which electric guitars are the lightest? Hmm, I'm not sure. Let's put a question mark there. <laughs> So you can elaborate on that and you can say something else. But what I like to do is I just like to then put another title into the blog post and say five epic guitars that won't break your back. Let's just go with, go with that. Won't break your neck because it's strapped around your neck. <laughs> Sorry, it's Friday afternoon. Won't break your neck, okay? And then what you want to do is you want to make that a heading two because this would be the heavy heading one. Let's just fix it with Grammarly and then there you go. Now, the next thing you'll do is you go to an awesome. So for example, if you wanted to get some content, you can go to a website called Jarvis AI and then you will come over here. So this is Jarvis AI, it's a paid subscription. And what it does is it just helps you create content. So if I paste that in, which electric guitars are the lightest, and I say generate content, it will spit out two outputs, you can set this to two, three, four, five. But let's just go with this one. And then you can say I want it to be informative, but I also want it to be fun, because I don't want to have a boring website, click generate content. And I wouldn't take this word for word it picks up and scrapes uh, information from all over the website. Make sure you read this before you go ahead. So what is the lightest electric guitar? Maybe surprising people. So it's been written really well. So what you do is you come through to here, you copy it, copies the whole thing. And then you just come over here and you paste it. The best thing about that is that 
um, Jarvis has actually already scraped the internet and you don't want duplicate content. You don't want to be able to say, okay, I'm copying off someone else's website. Jarvis basically comes up with its own script. There's also another way where you can go through to Grammarly. I have a paid subscription for Grammarly also, and it shows you whether you're actually duplicating content or whether you're plagiarizing a website. Sometimes you don't even know that you're plagiarizing a website because there's so much content out there on the internet. Of course, things are going to be written the same way. So five epic guitars, it won't break your neck. What is the lightest electric guitar? So what I would say is you could even just put that as a, a heading three, or I would just make it bold. Okay. So what is the lightest head electric guitar? Maybe surprising. Some people, blah, 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 blah. So obviously I'm in Australia. So Grammarly fixes that for me. Now the next thing, what I would do is I love to create blogs and then promote the products that we stock. So I will have a look at the guitars on the website. What are the lightest ones? And I put them through. So I would go, oh my goodness. Yeah, it is Friday. So I will go hash one. And then I would say, for example, I'd say Hagstrom Phantomen. I have no idea if this is the lightest one or whatnot. Thank goodness for um, Grammarly today because it's really <laughs> hacks and fence, man. And then I'd go to the actual guitar and then I would grab some content from there, fix it up a little bit, do what I've done with, with my Grammarly plugin and fix up the content, make it more exciting. Then you've got one, then your second one, your third one, you can say three, but I'm going with five. So one, two, three, four, five, put in five lightweight guitars. That is gold. I'm almost guaranteed to bring this to the front page and to get clicks. What will happen is, for example, if this is Hags from Phantom Man, so if I go Hag Phantom Man, okay, and I double click on that, what will happen is I can press Control C for copy, link, and go into here and paste it. So it says it there. And then here's the left-handed one. And I think I did the SEO for this one. I think I've already done. So it shows you the actual product that will link through to that product. Okay. So with that being said, here is the link. If you copy that link, all right, and paste it there, what will happen is the actual product should display. It will display here, so as you can see in black gloss, that's the actual product. Another way is to just add the product through your, um, through your WooCommerce. So you just get a little bit of a snippet. I can show you how to do that. Um, so let's just say Hags from Phantom Man is an ultra lightweight car. Uh, Elaborate on that ultra lightweight. See, that's why I love, so it's not Phantom Man. And, um, yeah, basically elaborate on all of the content that you want to put into there. Then what we'll do is we won't publish it. We'll save it as a draft and we'll preview the actual post to see what it looks like. So which guitar is the lightest and control open in the new tab. It will show here which electric guitars are the lightest. I'm in the process of fixing up this blog on the website. So as you can see, we've got it there. Then we've got five epic guitars that won't break your neck. So it's a little bit creative. Google loves that at the moment, loves that human element. What a light, what is the lightest electric guitar? It's got a little bit of writing here. And then number one, Hags from Fantaman. Hags from blah, blah, blah. I'd suggest to do a, a paragraph on that. Then look at this, this is the product. So if you copy the link on this website in particular, it's just showing the actual link and that will go through, which is also amazing for your internal linking strategy. But generally what happens is when you paste a link, it will show the product also. So 
there is a way to get the product ID and paste that in here. And then what will happen is it will show the full product. There's also, depending on what theme you have, a way to actually show the full product in a little snippet and it looks really tidy, it looks really neat. So that's another thing I'm going to fix on this website in particular because it just makes working so much faster. So there's one, I'll put two here, I'll put three here, I'll put four here and I'll put five here. You got your related posts and then guess what? There's a blog, submit it to Google Search Console, get it crawled, get everything up to speed and that is it. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. There's so many more ways to get this done. Like and subscribe if this has helped you. Obviously, want to make more videos like this to help people like yourselves grow your e-commerce channel. Thank you very much.